Hey, happy Thursday, everyone. Dirty Swat back here with Dirty Swamp Cooker. It's going to be doing another uh, barbecue cook. Uh, and today, what I have for you is uh, some Alaskan sockeye salmon, also known as red salmon. Um, I actually had the privilege of living in Alaska for uh, three years. I was actually, actually born up there. Um, and while I was living there uh, from 2012 to 2015, I uh, really enjoyed going fishing for wild Alaska salmon. So uh, and while doing that, I grew uh, appreciation and uh, a love for eating uh, also the Alaskan sockeye salmon. So uh, with that being said, what I have here um, is uh, some salmon that we're going to cook up. So stay tuned and I will show you the steps that we uh, use to grill that on the barbecue as opposed to putting it in the oven. Stay tuned. All right, guys, welcome back. Going ahead and uh, going to start seasoning the salmon here. What I've done initially is just put a little bit of olive oil down. I know it looks like a lot, but just a little bit down on the plate and just drizzled a little bit on top so that I could uh, do two things. One, I'm going to use that olive oil to create a nice uh, crispy skin for the fish after it's uh, done cooking on the barbecue pit. Uh, additionally, uh, the olive oil on top is going to help uh, bind some of the seasoning that I'm going to use uh, on the salmon. So the first thing I like to do is take some kosher salt and just kind of lightly season the top of the salmon. Uh, I like kosher salt because of the uniformity of the grain of the salt that comes out, uh, which is also appealing to the eye and, uh, and tastes really good. So after I hit some kosher salt on there, I like to use a little bit of lemon pepper. Uh, again, lemon is, just pairs really nicely with the fish. Um, so I like to sprinkle that on both of these fillets, make sure I'm getting good coverage across the fish. Now, another thing I like to put on it next is gonna be some uh, garlic powder. Um, you know, not required if you're not a big fan of garlic. However, uh, as I mentioned in my previous video, my wife and I are huge garlic heads and uh, we really like garlic on most of our dishes. All right, and lastly, what I'm gonna hit this with is gonna be some ginger. Um, again, uh, ginger pairs very nicely with salmon. Um, and so I just like to add a little bit of that ground ginger on top of the fish um, after I have hit it with everything else. Astro, our dog, just got really excited about the seasoning of this fish as well. Okay, so now that we have the salmon seasoned, uh, what is going to happen next is going to go out to the grill. I'm going to get that fired up and uh, ready to get this fish on board. We'll see you back here in a second. Are you ready? All right, guys, I'm out here uh, ready to fire up the smoker. Today we're going to be cooking on my big green egg, um, which is one of my favorite smokers I've ever owned. Um, what I like about it is the ability to use it both as a smoker and as a grill. And like we talked about earlier today, I'm going to be using it in a grilling function. So what I've done is go ahead, as you can see, I've already put in uh, some lump charcoal. I have my electric fire started, routed out to the inside of the house here. We got that started. So now we're just gonna be waiting for fire to get going and then we'll get our salmon put on the grill. Stay tuned, we'll be right back. All right, guys, we got the fire getting ready on the smoker outside. Uh, and what we'll do now is go ahead and get our fish transferred to a nice little foil basket that I like to use to cook on the smoker. You can just go ahead and put the fish uh, skin side down on that smoker. However, what I've found uh, through experience is that when you do that, the skin tends to, tick, uh, tends to stick to the grates, which makes it hard for it to, uh, to get pulled off and you end up losing some of the fish. So what we're gonna do is use this nice little foil packet, which is gonna create a nice buffer between the flame and the fish itself. Still give us that great smoky flavor from the lump charcoal uh, and get the fish cooked on the smoker. So what I like to do is pull a couple of sheets of foil out and just like create like a little, little basket here, like a little square that you can uh, easily pick up and put on the grill. And what I like to do is at the bottom of this is throw down a little kosher salt and what that's going to do is do two things. One, it's going to season nicely the skin on the bottom, because I actually like to eat the skin of the salmon. There's a lot of nutrients uh, there in the skin. And the other thing it's going to help is prevent sticking, uh, so that you can actually use a spatula when this is done to get the fish uh, out of the foil. So once I got this kosher salt down, all I do is going to simply transfer the fish from my seasoning plate. Be sure to get some of that seasoning that was left over on the plate. And I'm going to set these right here in the foil. Now that I have the fish in the full packet, what I can do now is just wait for that fire to get going and then we'll get this fish onto the smoker. I'll show you that here in a second. Thanks. All right, y'all, welcome back. We have the salmon ready to go. We have the smoker fired up and ready to go. All that's left to do is place this salmon right on the smoker. All right, salmon's placed. No need to, uh, you know, close up this foil. It's gonna do just fine uh, grilling there on the smoker. So what we'll do now is we'll close this up. It'll take about 12 to 15 minutes for this to get cooked, and uh, we'll show you what that looks like when it's done. Be right back. Okay, we are all right about 15 minutes, so I'm gonna go ahead and open this up here. Oh yeah, it's looking nice. So one of the ways you can tell that the fish is ready is you can start to see kind of the, the white uh, protein has uh, kind of starting to accumulate on top of the fish. Additionally, if you look at the side here, 
um, you can see that uh, you're going to start getting some white flakiness that you can kind of see right in here. So um, based on what I'm seeing here on this fish, I'm going to get this about probably another minute or two, and then I'm going to pull it off and take it inside and get it ready. So uh, I'll show you the end product here when we get done. All right, guys, we uh, got the fish finalized and uh, off the smoker. Why don't you come take a look at kind of how this finished up. So as you can see here on the side, like I was mentioning outside, we got nice white color consistency with that beautiful pink, pinkish red there for that sockeye salmon. Uh, what we're going to do to serve this today is we're going to be having some salads, uh, Jessica and I. So uh, you can see Astro is very interested in what we're doing here. So I'm going to go ahead and use uh, the spatula in order to get the fish just nice and easy off the foil. And what you'll notice is it'll come right off from the skin. So looks really nice. It's nicely well done. Let's go ahead and just get a little, let's get a little taste here. Oh, it's just falling apart. Oh yeah. Guys, it's really good. Turned out real nice, nice and easy. Total, total time from seasoning to, to setting it on top of the salad only took about 25 minutes. So a quick and easy uh, salmon lunch that you can do right on the smoker. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, please, uh, if you did, subscribe, leave some comments at the bottom. I'll be uh, coming back at you today for a video on some beef fajitas that we're going to be doing tonight for dinner. So hope to see you guys check that out. Thanks. Uh, Dirty Swat here signing off from Dirty Swamp Cookers.